In January of 2014, I was privileged to embark upon a trip back to my homeland of Cameroon, Africa. This journey began with me sitting in a college classroom in November of 2013. It was an African-American literature class, and for the culminating event, the professor, a native Cameroonian, was offering a trip to Ethiopia and Cameroon as part of the study abroad program. Immediately, I was fascinated. Imagine stepping foot on the African continent, I thought. A descendant of slaves, all I knew was African-American history, not African history. So as a result, there was a hole where knowledge should have been. I decided to go. When I went to my pre-trip medical appointment for the necessary shots and supplies, I discovered I was pregnant. What a joy. But, however, I knew if I said something, the university might discourage me from the trip, so I said nothing until my feet were firmly planted in African soil, and I was fine. While preparing for the trip, I felt very strongly that I should take a DNA test in order to discover where at in Africa I was from. If I was going to be on the continent, I needed to know exactly where my ancestors came from. So I went with DNA tribes at first because they advertised specifically that they would determine which tribe you were from in Africa, and I wanted to be as specific as possible. They were more specific than I thought because it pointed me not just to Cameroon, but to Febe Village, Cameroon. So I went to class the next day, and I raised my hand at the end of class, and I said, hey, I know where I'm from because I did tell the class that I would be taking the DNA test. And he said, oh, yeah, where are you from? I said, yes, my DNA results came back, and I'm from, and I couldn't pronounce it, and I said, Phoebe? Village? Cameroon? I said, F-E-B-E, -E, because when I said Phoebe, he didn't know what I was talking about. But when I spelled it out, he said, oh, Febe Village! I said, yes, that's where I'm from, Febe Village. So, lo and behold, we were actually going to be staying in a nearby hotel. No kidding. So, we were already going to be in the area. I was already going to be teaching nearby. So the professor rearranged the whole itinerary for the study abroad program and arranged a homecoming for me. I was thrilled. But here's some footage from the event, and um, I hope you really enjoy it. He did want me to confirm the results before he went through the complete overhaul of, you know, rearranging the trip and adding me in it for, this, for the whole day. And I did confirm it later on with the Ancestry DNA and with Family Tree DNA. And at the top of the list, both times were Cameroon. So I printed everything out. Everyone wanted to see my results. I took my results with me. My family in the village wanted to see my results. I was welcomed into the village with incredible shouts of joy, hugs, and a celebration afterward that was just, it, it will be imprinted on my mind forever and ever and ever. Everyone embraced me and welcomed me home. This is the stuff that dreams are made of, I thought. It truly was, and the memories will last forever and ever and ever. I really hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment below. I look forward to hearing from you, especially if you have any questions, because a couple things you'll see is not just my homecoming. You'll see other parts of the trip. You'll see the Bimbia slave port where my ancestors were taken from. Who gets to see that? Um, they actually apologized to me. The village gave me an official apology for my ancestors being sold away. That brought me to tears, and, and you'll definitely see that. Um, another thing that happens, we visited a school. I was there to teach, but um, we did visit a different school called C&J School, and they had us there for what they called their reading day. So you can see how reading day is celebrated in Africa, and basically how school is celebrated in Africa. I will put up a separate video about my teaching experiences specifically because the trip was long. It was a semester and I have a lot of footage and a lot of pictures and a lot of video. So this here, the highlight for this one is just a Cameroonian homecoming, returning to my village, uh, seeing sites around Cameroon, Africa. Also, uh, Bimbia Slave Port, CNJ Reading School. A couple of things you'll also see is, uh, you know, me and my friends dancing and we took an African dance class while there and then we performed it for the school in the end and you'll you'll see that also I was in the practice class but by the time the performance came I was really not feeling well remember I was pregnant so I actually set out the actual performance but you'll see me in the practice videos overall an amazing trip I'm so delighted to be able to share this with you and thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for watching. It was an education for me. I'm sure it'll be an education for you. Just get it now. Oh, no.
Donc, j'aurais bien voulu qu'on aille au village. Yes, il dit qu'il veut aller au village. Oui, mais on croyait qu'on allait, que vous allez venir la semaine prochaine. Ils ont dit que vous allez venir la semaine prochaine. Ils ont dit qu'on allait organiser un très grand travail. Bon, alors, mais... Comment les autres peuvent rester dans le cas, moi je l'amène dans ma barre. Avec le propre. Avec le propre. Il dit que les autres peuvent rester dans le cas. Il dit que les autres peuvent rester dans le cas. Sonia est dans le cas. Il dit que les autres peuvent rester dans le cas. Donc, on va aller avec ça. Ok. 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 Madame, il n'y a personne d'autre là-bas Qui est là Il n'y a que la bonne Bon, tant pis. Bon, merci. Il est ingénieur. Oui, télécom. Ah, ok. Ça, c'est très peu de tourisme. Il y a des paysages. Là, c'est Fébé Village. Ça, c'est très facile sur cette langue d'acclimater la langue. Même si le sang des Français sort aujourd'hui, plus longtemps. Je crois que c'est très important. 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 Non, ma cadam. Thank you. 
Olivier qu'on allait, on devait organiser une cérémonie pour elle, mais c'est la semaine prochaine. On avait dit tout le monde. Ça c'est ma maison. This is my house. That is your house. I, I don't live there. I am building. This is this one. That's one of your houses. Yes. Voilà ma maison ici. Uh -huh. Mais c'est pas fini. <laughs> I live uh, in town. Okay. Mm. It's like a million dollars. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for how? It really is. This is my father's house. Okay. <laughs> All this is oh. for my father. He's dead now. Ça c'est la chapelle du village. Quelle population de la village oh, Combien de personnes Ça peut être 100 personnes, hein? un peu plus de 100. 100, like 100 Plus, yes. 1000. Yes. Ici. Ça c'est la chapelle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you had this one for you today. Yeah, it's nice. I hope you're enjoying it. I feel a little selfish though. I feel like no. it's all about me. <laughs> no. Well, how often does opportunity like this come yeah. up? I know. No, no it's just a we're so really psyched for, for you, yeah. For, for all of us, it's, it's not. True. It's okay. not just like you. Yeah. Okay. Good. To like Gosh, son, you gotta drag us along and go on this field trip. <laughs> yeah. and, no, this yeah, is amazing. Your tribe and everything. Gosh, you're so selfish. <laughs> You're in Africa once, you gotta go meet everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. No, like if, for you. Think I'm really if it was on Ghana, you see his house? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say, what do you do for a living? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. So, how is, he, how is his so relation cool. to you? It's my uncle. Really? Man. Yeah. Uncle? Yes. I'm thinking we should stay with him. I like this house. <laughs> <laughs> we should come visit. We, we don't need a hotel. We, we got a big, big house. <laughs> wow. We just take a wing. That's <laughs> great. It's so funny. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Something. Yeah, it wow. really is. And just the, the modern science with yeah. the DNA, you know, that's just incredible. And here we are. Yeah, I know. And everybody that I've taken a picture with, we look exactly alike. Like in the pictures, I'm like, wow, you can actually see the family resemblance. Yeah. Which is something I wasn't expecting. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Where were you born? Just out of curiosity. In New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. Totally out of place, right? Here we are. Your village. Here you come. No, you like it. You just. Oh, okay.
You do? You got a photographer, a videographer? Yeah. Sonia, you famous. Okay, I'm so happy, I'm so impressed, you know, yeah. because the professor just got involved. I yeah. just called him, you know, to give, take his time off. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so I'm so impressed because uh, mm -hmm. the minister gave me his number, my minister, the Honorable Minister of Nature Brown and the family. Oh, okay. He gave me the number, I said, Professor is so known, it's from this room. Mm -hmm. So Margaret gave a talk to him. And, and I just, yeah. I've never met him. Just, oh, okay. I've never met him. I only saw him there. Yeah. Oh, wow. At uh, the monastery. Yeah. Okay. I didn't okay. know who he was. I just oh, wow. got to him on the phone and we talked. And okay. He said, okay, it's all the same. Sonia, you look beautiful when you did. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. 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 Yes, les autochtones prenez le photo elle a tenu vraiment à vous voir à vous connaître c'est bien vous allez voir vous allez voir vous allez voir vous allez voir vous allez Welcome back. C'est votre fille venue. Oh, 
Dance, then we can okay. Okay. Sit there so I can yeah, sure. thank you. Yeah, nice to you. <laughs> 
Seven hills. Wow. That's seven hills. Seven hills. Wow. Seven hills. I bet I will come and buy it. You come to Sonia's village and buy it. They will give you plots. They will give you plots. They will come again. They will come with your husband. They will prepare. They will give you land that you can do anything on this land. Yes. Really? Yeah. That's what they do in every village. Okay. They are going to give her what? Give her land. Oh, land. 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 We see on TV, we see as they, they, they've gone to Kribi, they've gone to the Bamileke side, and they come and they go back, but we did not know that we had one of ours oh among <laughs> I'm thanking God greatly. We did not think that such a thing could happen to us. For hundreds of years, we know that our people were gone. They were gone and we, we did not have any news of what had happened to them. And of late, we understood that uh, a new, a new, uh, new uh, that they have started a new, started a new way of allowing people to find them, uh, to go back and find their roots. Their roots. Yeah. Yeah. And we see as people embrace their theirs who have come back. And today it is our own day that we can embrace our own. Wow. <laughs> Sonia, you are my grandchild, my grand grandchild. <laughs> this is your hometown, Sonia. This is your hometown. Yo, when you go back, oh, yeah, nah, ja, do, you just know that this is your home. This is your home. Don't know to what in fam tree. Mamma and fam tree. Even though you didn't find your grandfather, what's a dream? You came to your place. This is your home, and she is your grandmother. Okay. The Yahoo Zaman Gang. Young way, don't know. Oh, yeah, nah, you got cheaper. You know, man, come and do the name, boss. Oh, don't so to have a bien As you're going back, know that this is your home. And when you go, don't go forever. Always be coming back. Because you have your place here. Right. You're awake. Oh, yeah, my dear daddy, to her as soon as I'm a man, 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 I'm what happened before, what our grandparents and our grandparents did as they sent you off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mom, are you doing the transmission? Hello. 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 Martina. Go ahead. So today has been one of the greatest days of my life. Elle dit que je dis c'est l'un In America, when you go to school for African Americans, you have to go through the whole trauma of learning about the slave trade. Il dit aux États-Unis, quand tu pars à l'école, tu dois vaincre tous les, les, les traumas psychologiques, d'apprendre le traumatisme, d'apprendre l'esclavage. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oui, tu as tout le même mieux Tout fait ça. Oui, tu vas mieux faire. <rire> Mais ne pleut plus. Le, ne pleut plus. 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 Le slave trade, comment on appelle ça L'esclavage. L'esclavage. Mm -hmm. When I trace my roots back, I could only go back a little bit. When I trace my roots back, I could only go back a little bit. I could only go back a Mm -hmm. um, it got to the point where all I had was slave records and my ancestors were recorded with no name. C'est arrivé à Ikoinga Kopwa, Ikoumenena, you hang up to Anga Tayena, Ditilda, Anga Yena, uh, Bangzie, Ingeli, Bungatil, Bungatilbana, I'm a and I did the DNA testing, which will test your blood, your saliva. And I had very specific results for this village in Cameroon. <laughs>
Bon, on va Et si au patria qui n'est pas à la maison, oh. que nous étions là. Et nous sommes beaucoup. là. Merci. Okay. Et il va rentrer, oh. Sonia va rentrer avec toute la famille. Mais il va rentrer, elle va revenir. Elle va revenir. Ok, c'est let's go. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Mais, mais on, va, on, parle, on parle beaucoup ici. Hein. Mais ce qu'on a voulu faire comme surprise à Sonia. C'est que on lui a réservé un lopin de terre. La prochaine fois que vient, on va lui montrer ce terrain. Okay. 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 Okay.
Thank you.
don't know what they're saying either? No. Okay.
be a good place for it. Up in the front
going good.
right from Bonangombe, that's around Bonadine, and down here you have the Tikolo village. So this is Tikolo village. And the chief, the chief of India was very instrumental, both, you know, in the slave trade and in the colonization, the German colonization, you know, of Cameroon. It was very instrumental because it was a passageway, you know, to the interior yeah. since people came here. From. Yeah. Where oil is made? Yes. Palm oil. Palm oil. Palm oil. Palm oil. Yeah. Palm oil. Palm oil. Yeah. So, so uh, this is the slave uh, site we have just uh, reached. In the old days, the people who lived in this area were business people. They used to sell human beings. And at the end of the slavery uh, activity around here, they decided to get into some other activity that could help them to generate uh, income for themselves. And so they started an oil mill. So what you see here are some of the uh, old pipes mm -hmm. that have uh, rotted with time. And so some of the structures like this were converted to oil mills and uh, the people continued in uh, this issue of making their own uh, living through uh, business. Yeah, so that's why this, this structure is here. So you notice that you see here, you see this is stone, and there's another uh, brick, it's a brick material above. So some of them were, they had to do some uh, restructuring so that they could do uh, another activity apart from the slavery that they were uh, mostly involved in. So the lower building was held, kept, uh, was built to hold the slaves. Yeah. And then, and about what date would you could you give us the date on that? Okay. Yes. And um, this, okay. Now, um, for you guys who know your history, you know that in in 1807, 1807, early part of the 19th century, the British abolished transatlantic slave trade transporting people from African, West African coast to the, to, to the New World. By 1808, the U.S. Congress followed suit. But between that period <coughs> and right up to 1870, the Portuguese ship were still smuggling people mm -hmm. from the West Coast. So the slavery continued you know, for a long time. Mm -hmm. Now, slavery had created a kind of trade for a significant number of the population, a kind of means of livelihood. So many chiefs, you know, were already involved you know, in slavery and many people. So in order to discourage them and replace, you know, that trade in human beings, you know, with alternative form of trade, you know, they started developing oil, mm -hmm. the oil palm, mm -hmm. you know, trade and other forms of trade. Now, at the same time, the industrial revolution was picking up, you know, in the U.S., and uh, and in England and in Europe, so they needed raw material, you know, to funnel to kind of support, you know, the industrial revolution. So it made sense actually for these palm plantations, you know, to be established. Yeah. So once they were established, oil, the production of oil became a significant part of the trade, you know, that replaced, you know, slaves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, and this also coincides with the arrival of the missionaries. Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, when the missionaries started arriving here. They began preaching and discouraging this kind of uh, inhumane uh, activity. Now, uh, if, if, if you read uh, Adena, yes, yes. Shelly, Shelly, mm -hmm. no, the other guy, the husband, not yeah, Shelly, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. he talked talked about some of the practices that used to take place around here, and so these missionaries came and discouraged them. For example, I don't know if you are, are you, are you following? Uh, in those days.
heel of gin and things like that. And so uh, Moses has served for that purpose. There are a series of orders of the, so, such herds. Some of them, years of uh, rain and sun and everything have uh, brought them down to foundation level. The orders are still standing at, like this. Mm -hmm. Was there a roof? Yes, I think there was. It, it, you know, in those days, a touch. We use the oh, touch, yeah. touch roof, so it could easily fall off without any. Uh, yeah. So we we'll just walk down to. Foundation of one of the slaves. One of these structures. So Video. that we can have uh, a, a picture of what they looked like when they were constructed. So that visitors to the site can see uh, the, the, the herd like they looked in, in those old days. And then we'll be able to compare with what we are seeing right now. As you see, notice that the bamboo has eaten into the wall right there. So there's going to be a clean up process so that the walls will be secured. Uh, that they don't uh, deteriorate for that. And part of it is establishing a place in the museum, yes, is that yes. right? Yes, yes. And what, uh, we, we have some of the chains, it's just that they are in uh, the office. We have some of the chains that we actually that use for, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the to put the chains down. Now, within this area, inside here, there are five other structures. Yes, we had some activities who went inside to do the finding, do the search. And the five other structures. Maybe the next time we have visitors, or maybe by next year, this place will be cleaned up so that visitors can Yeah, I just discovered this you know, myself within the last um, last month, six months or two during the campaign, uh, the last presidential campaign. And the irony is that as people were con were um, challenging the best the American best of President Obama. Yeah. Other people, you know, did research that discovered that on his mother's white side, his mother is white, you know, his mother's family is white, on his mother's white side, there is an African ancestry. Mm -hmm. Not even on his mother's Kenya, mm -hmm. not even on his father's Kenya mm -hmm. side, which is clearly African, mm -hmm. but on his mother's white side, there's an African mm -hmm. ancestry. And that African, that African ancestor came from Cameroon. He was one of the, he was one of the indentured, he came as not as a slave, but as in, an indentured servant. So he worked as an indentured servant with other white indentured servants who came from Europe. Now, these people uh, kind of rebelled and then they were captured and taken to court. And the white indentured servants, you know, were freed. And this ancestor of the president's ancestor was not free you know he was a slave he ultimately had children you know with a white female with a white woman and then created you know a whole tribe now this family that he created eventually separated you know on two sides one side got married white 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 white, white, white and whitened you know their side mm -hmm. and the other side black so obama's uh, mother his family you know Inside that, you know, that's why. Right. So they did all of that, and that's published on the internet. You, know, wow. you can read it. Okay. That's awesome. Mm. Would have been okay. for the military. Oh, the, the structure here uh, is three feet on it, and, and uh, this was like uh, some kind of vantage point. Yeah, watchtower. Watchtower. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, built, there's a platform here. So they could watch to see if the ships were coming or whatever, or all, and also to keep an eye on the. The door of no return. The door of no return. They oh usually very small, very small door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so make sure that you don't escape easily. Mm -hmm. The white door would encourage uh, them to, <laughs> to escape. Yes, so they put very small doors like this one. And you really have to bend. Yes, you have to bend to get it. So, this is what we call the door of no return. From here. 
Let me go. You want, I want to sit down. You want? Come. Ah, when yeah. you get here, bye bye. Yeah. the buffer zone uh, around here yeah. because the tides are very rough so yes. it's easier for a ship to come in through this way and then the place was transported from here to the island where the bargaining was done the yeah. Yeah. The 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 now the some of the very stubborn slaves were kept huh? at the island because uh, some of them tried to escape so when you dry anything uh, uh, they take you and keep you there uh, they Sometimes you have to be there for a long time before the ship can change. Because there was no particular uh, pattern. You could not say two weeks or one week or three weeks or so So that island actually served as a bargaining, uh, as a market. Are there some structures there where they were able yes, to contain yes. the uh, human cargo? Okay, right now uh, the Ministry of Tourism and uh, part of the U.S. Embassy project yeah. has to do with researching oh. to find structures yeah, it looks small, yeah. but the island is quite long, right down.